Hey guys, this is Dylan over here at Ellis Home and Garden in Longview. I hope everyone's having a great morning. Again, I'm joined by Regina Sellers, guys. She is the creator of Probo the Hand. Uh, so I just want to take a minute and thank everybody who came out last night, guys. Again, if you are not familiar, we had our Mother's Day Madness event. So we had margaritas. Uh, we had um, live entertainment. We had Regina here doing demos, guys. So if you had made the time to come out last night, I appreciate it and I want to thank you. And also, we had some... Uh, some, fan, some fans and viewers come and they yeah. travel here, guys. So we got to meet you guys and Regina signed a couple of their boards. So again, thank you so much for coming. And any questions or comments that you have during this video today, go ahead and leave your name down below where you're watching from because we love to see where you're coming from. And also, honey, uh, forget Morticia. We have somebody new here with us today. Hun, after last night, we have discovered, and, and y'all, I want to let y'all know because I was just feeling really bad about this because she was just so pouty and just kind of hanging a lip and I, I just couldn't have it. You know, that was just kind of upset me. So we, her and I really had a, a talk yesterday and we're friends now and she's happy and, and she really had a good time. We made her just come mm -hmm. out and, and enjoy herself. And we've discovered after last night, what was really bringing her down is her name was Morticia. And after last I'm night, we it. have discovered that her name is really Margarita. <laughs> okay. So her name is Margarita. So look at her, guys. And, and look at her. She's all she's all pepped up, and we got a little makeup on. I played with her yesterday and kind of just <laughs> yes. kind of worked with her worked with her look. She has her pretty little hat on, and she has her new her new little shirt on, and she's happy. And she's we are happy. friends now. I just could not leave without us being friends. So she and I. Our, be our best buds. We should have brought her out last night for the meet and greet. <laughs> her table. You could have set her on the corner of the table. Well, she did come out and meet some people. You know, oh, she, yes. she had a few margaritas, yes. and we discovered that was really the problem. One too many. Yeah, she was. She was, and she had so her name. And she decided last night that that it was she's not going to be Mar uh, Martish anymore. Her name now is Margarita. <laughs> and there's a long story behind that, but we're just going to have to leave it at that because it's yes. just going to go on. But she had a really good time last night. And she looks so much better. Yes, and so like she's a complete happy. 180, guys. That's it. She's it's really happy. Said her eye looks so good now. Yes. I see. <laughs> <laughs> After that detach right now, that will run you back. Yes. <laughs> yes. So she's really happy, and we're friends now. I just mm -hmm. could not leave without her and I making up, and we're friends now. So it's Regina and uh, Margarita. And they're asking what her shirt says. It says, this mama heals with hugs and prayers. And guys, we do carry this at Ellis. We have a boutique, which I took you through there the other day, and I did a little fashion show for you, gave you some commentary. And she and I did do a few hugs yesterday. We yes. did, it, we did, you know, we prayed. <laughs> You know, we prayed, and, right. and you know, we kind of got some of her problems worked out, and and we just, you know, and Dylan gets his hug this Therapy. morning too. There, yes. that's it. There's like a it's our kiss. last day together, guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then now, when I leave, I'm gonna look like Morticia, okay? Because I'm gonna be so depressed. And so when I leave, I'm gonna be. Morticia. But I got her cell phone number. I found out we liked the same shows last mm -hmm. night, so we'll be in contact all the time. Yes, guys. I'm no still gonna be. Videos, I'm still though, gonna okay? be sad, but we're not gonna but, FaceTime in the bathtub. We <laughs> <laughs> can text, but no bath. No, no I'm, I'm, whenever we have enough time, I'm gonna have to tell that story. <laughs> okay. okay, but there, there is a, um, there, there is a story going around, and and we posted it in my site a couple of times, and it involves Leah McIntosh. Thank God, it was Leah McIntosh that I had on. So y'all think about this. I had an iPad, okay, and and this is the reason why old people should not use social media and I'm just gonna leave this and y'all can kind of think all y'all want about this just let your mind go free but I was I was doing a Facebook video messenger with Leah Masson Macintosh and I had my iPad and uh, the we could see each other and but I couldn't hear her okay and so uh, my husband was in the bathtub <laughs> okay got that my husband was taking a jacuzzi and uh, it wouldn't work, and so I just, I needed it to work. So I went straight to the bathroom with my iPad, and his feet were here, and his head was here, and I walked in with my iPad, and my husband is with all of his old man, 65-year-old <laughs> total nakedness, all of, just, just let your lay mind go, just laid out, and there were no bubbles, no jacuzzi going, and I just walked in, and, and, and he didn't have any brains either. And I'm going, make it work, make it work, because I had no sound. 
And so he puts his hands up. He's laying in the bathtub. And he says, well, give it to me. Give it to me. And so I, I hand it to him. And, um, and I'm just sitting there waiting for him. Just make it work. Make it work so I can do my Facebook video, video messenger with, with Leah. And so I'm waiting for him to make it work. And he's laying in the bathtub. And I'm standing there. And all of a sudden, I look and I go, this man is naked. This man is He's naked. And I let out a blood-curdling scream, and I'm like, you're naked, you're naked. And so now we, him and I start fiddling. I mean, we're, we're throwing this thing all over the place because I'm just like, turn it off, turn it off, whatever you do. And so I, I thought, well, Probo, the hand is now ruined. I mean, there's no way we can, there's no way we can do anything about this. And then I get her on the phone, and she doesn't answer the phone. And so my husband is still sitting in the bathtub naked. And I'm now, I went in the kitchen and I just sat there with my phone and I'm bawling, literally just bawling. And I'm waiting for the police because I said, surely she's not answering the phone because she's, she, she just had, commented and said the story made her famous overnight. Lady. That's right. You see, she's on there. And, and so I sat in the kitchen by the door and I'm sitting there with my phone and Leah's not answering the phone. And I was like, well, she's called the police because she thinks we're, we are running some kind of old people porn site or something. <laughs> And so, thank God it was Leah because Leah Back has. Bathtubdaddies.com. Bathtubdaddies.com. <laughs> <laughs> and so I had no idea, and neither my husband or I had no idea what had been seen. We we just had no idea. And so um, Leah finally answers the phone, and she is dying laughing. She's dying. And she goes, Regina, she said, I saw the minute, it, and Leah is just super good on, 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 on social media. And she said, I knew what, she said, I knew what you were doing. She said, the minute you walked in, I could tell it was a bathroom. And she says, I was really waiting. Yeah. Come on, turn that thing, you know. <laughs> but the whole time it just showed the ceiling. But whenever it showed my husband, we, we, we sat there and I handed it to him and you could see him for the waist up. And my husband is kind of, he's kind of even for an old man. He's, he's still nice looking, thank, thank heavens. And so Lisa said that she enjoyed that. And so after that, I posted a picture of my husband 30 years ago. Okay. <laughs> and so then people were saying, do it again. Yeah. Do it again. Yeah. <laughs> they were sorry they missed it. But anyway, uh, that's just to prove that old people should not, should not have these kind of things. You know, because <laughs> I, I, we really could have did. That is a story that I could have gone just so wrong. So when she goes back home, we will not be taking any videos in the bathtub or no, anything like that. No, 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 we're over <laughs> that. like that. No. No, we'll watch HBO for that. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> not Provo the Hand and not Regina, please. No, no, no. Okay, guys, so uh, we came to you the last two days um, with different bow demonstrations, and today's our third and final day, and we're going to do uh, tree toppers. Guys, I know Christmas is a little bit away, but this is a technique that she's going to she's gonna guide me through and what she's going to show you today, guys, that you can use, um, you know, as you approach the holidays, as that stuff gets closer. So um, I'm excited because, you know, we get lots of requests here at Ellis for tree topper bows and a lot of stuff like that. So this is something I can use and it's going to be beneficial to me and you. So guys, if you have any questions or comments while we do this, go ahead and leave those down below. Also, don't forget to check us out on our website, guys, ellishomeandgarden.com. Probo the Hand is available on there. We also have it available here in our Longview location right now, but we're working to get that to all of our locations so it's all accessible to you. All right, well, I think I'm ready. Okay, we're not going to be using Christmas ribbon. Is it, it isn't in yet, but this is just going to make you a, a pretty summer, a summer ri ribbon. Uh, you might use this. It's not going to be as full. Yeah, this bow is going to turn out the same size as this. It's just not going to be quite as full as this, okay? This is a mailbox bow. It's Like I said, you're going to see it's, it's the same size as this. But you can still use this. Like I said, we're using summer ribbon right now. You can still use it if you don't want to use quite this much ribbon for your mailbox. And you can put tons of balloons. And um, so anyway, we're using our spring ribbon because that's what we have in, in stock right now. But this is uh, truly the uh, tree topper bow. And you'll see how it's, it's, it's plenty full enough to use on your eight, nine foot tree, seven foot tree. And I think you're going to love it. So let's get started. And this is 30 yards of ribbon, right? Yes. This is 10. It's 10 yards on each bull, isn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, we don't want to run out. Let's make sure we have 10. We didn't look at that. Is yeah. that 10? Yeah, I think so. 10? Okay. Because we're going to use all of it, okay? So here we go. Let's get started. And remember, always keep your ribbon low. 
You don't want it. There's no reason to ever hold this up in the air because if you do that, your ribbon's going to pop off your spools, and you don't want that to happen. So in in your video, in my video, you'll always see that I'm keeping my hands low. Okay. So now we're going to pinch. See how you have my, have my thumbs together? And y'all, I showed this exactly like this in the slow video. I have a very slow video. Now you're just going to pivot your thumb. Just pivot your thumb around. And now. This is the absolute easiest way, there's no easier way possible to put wire on the end of a ribbon. Slip it under your finger. This is 26 gauge pre-cut wire. And you're gonna come pull yourself one, two. One wire up and one wire down. And look at Dylan go. There We're you go. We're off to a good start, guys. I know it's early, but hey, we got it. That's mm -hmm. it, okay. Now, whenever you pivot this, whenever you're pivoting it, this around, you're gonna you're gonna know, and after you do this a couple of times, you're gonna you're gonna remember that you want to wire up and a wire down. So as I bring this around, I just make sure that I keep one wire up and one wire down because that is the position I want my wire to be in. Because I want one to go up and one to go down. Okay. Okay. And now you're gonna pinch right in the middle. There you go. And that piece of wire, remember, always go counterclockwise. No, that's clockwise. <laughs> it's, I'm sorry, it's early, y'all. Had a few margaritas <laughs> last night. <laughs> so that is clockwise. Wrap it around the top. Wrap it on itself. Remember to leave that little piece so you can get that off quite, uh, very easy at the end. The reason why you wrap it up at the top, if you wrapped your wire down here at the end, you wouldn't be able to find your wire and get it off. So that's the reason for that. Now I'm gonna switch hands and we are gonna wrap the other piece around uh, the wire around the nail. Just once, you wanna get that off quickly at the end. And that's it, look at that, he's beating me. He's, oh God, he's got, he's getting, getting so, he's getting so, so good at that. Look, he's, a, he's ahead of me. <laughs> okay, so you can just kind of uh, tidy that up a little bit. Okay. And just make that kind of hide behind there because you are going to put your finger here. And you see with the back of my finger, I'm kind of holding that in place. Okay. And I'm going to put the bottom of the edge of the ribbon. There you go. And we're going to pinch. Y'all, I don't even think I have to tell him anything anymore. He knows what he's doing. He's done this a couple of times and he's ready to go. And there's your pinch and your twist. And you're going to drop it over. That's right. it. And you see the twist that's starting there? Always starts on the right, but that is gonna go away. There's the pinch and the twist. Bring the bottom edge up. Got it? Put your thumb there. Pull just enough around, y'all. Don't, don't um, get rambunctious and just pull a lot of ribbon out. You never <laughs> want to do that because you, if you want to keep your ribbon on the spools as long as possible so nothing gets, gets uh, twisted. And you see, it, we had a little half twist on the right. It's gone, it's gone on the left, and you'll see that your ribbon from your hand to your spools never twist on you. That's fabulous. Okay. Hi, Susan. Hi, uh, Jackie. <laughs> Good morning, girls. Hope you are having a good day. Okay, and y'all, that's all there is to it now. It's pinch and twist. Dylan, let's see how fast we can do this now. I know, right? Before we've done this kind of slow, we can do, let's show them how fast we can just whip these little bows out. It's a pinch and a twist, and get that ribbon around there. Y'all, after you get just a couple little hand movements down, you can just sit here and you can just make bows incredibly fast. Look at that, pinch, twist. That's all, it's back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Pinch, twist. You with me? Mm -hmm. There you go. Pinch, twist. Pinch, twist. Pinch, twist. Pinch and twist, guys, that could be in your dance move. <laughs> you might throw your hips out, but <laughs> we're, we're gonna have to come good. we're gonna have to come up with it with a dance just for the uh just for this, huh? Yes. Somebody said you need a t shirt with that on it. 
pinch and twist. There pinch you go. And twist. Hey. Dip and do it. Your pinch and twist. That's it. Pinch twist. <sighs> Y'all, is that easy? Is that fast? Don't you want to be able to make all of your Christmas bows just this fast at Christmas time? Oh, I got a little head of uh, dill in there. And I, well, I have done this a few times. She's doing the most over here. <laughs> Let's see. I have done I have done this a few times. In, in I'm my... always one step behind everyone, <laughs> even at the restaurant. Let's see. And I'm tying mine off. And that's it. Well, we've done a few things slow, and uh, I had a few people ask me last night oh, if if you really can do it fast, and I was like, yes, you can. Mm -hmm. There you go. Look at that. Perfect. Has Regina been using her word? Her word? Jace is asking. Jace. Jace. Jace is asking my word. Wumpy jaw. Has Regina been using her word? Her word. Is it, does he mean my word, wumpy jaw? I, yes, I say wumpy jaw all the time. That's yeah, we were perfect. talking about that yesterday. Yep. And that's it, guys. And there's your beautiful tree topper bow. And he's almost got it. There you go. He's wrapping it around. Give it a couple of turns. Okay. And that's it. You can kind of just play with that a little bit. Get get that get that a little straight there. It's gonna open a little better. Like there you go. That's it. Okay. Okay. And we are ready to pop this off of here. Guys, remember, any questions or comments that you have, have go ahead and leave those down below. Regina's here to answer those for you. There is no dumb question. And, guys, again, the Probo of the Hand is available on our website, guys, ellishomelandgarden.com. So make sure you check that out. I'm going to tighten mine up. Now Just for the zip tie. <laughs> That's Susan. That had to be Susan. Y'all, should we pick on each other all the time? We, we just pick on each other. Y'all, this is such a, uh, a big bed, a piece of wire. Break on me. And so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to add, just in case, I'm going to add another piece of wire. And since Susan said idea. that, since Susan said that, you could add, uh, instead of adding a zip tie, because you, you can do that if you want to just really manhandle this and since it's a tree topper i'm gonna you can add a zip tie if you would like susan don't faint don't faint now i'm, I'm Get saying this in you writing. Can, yes you can I, i'm i'm actually saying you can add a zip tie or another piece of wire or anything you want to make sure that if that piece of wire breaks because that's just a little bitty piece of wire in there for this gray big bow okay okay got it mm -hmm. so our bow makers are out of the way and we're going to use our cloth boxes. Chase asked, are you foo-fooing? Um, yes, we are ready to foo-foo. <laughs> oh, maybe that's the word Jace wanted me to say, foo-foo. My, my words are foo-foo and wumpy jaw. I'm going to cut me some tails. I'm going to cut some, since this is going to go on my Christmas tree, I'm going to cut, look, I'm going to cut me some tails way down here. There you go. And the rest of your ribbon, whatever's left on your little bow, you can add some other tails, maybe coming down the back or whatever you want to do. Okay. okay. Now, I'm going to start from the center. And turn. Hey, Teeny, how are you? Hi, Teeny. There you go. Perfect, Dylan. Perfect. Kind of put, since Dylan, since we're going to have a whole lot of mm -hmm. loops, we're going to leave these kind of up. Okay. Leave them kind of up because we're good. Okay, now the only thing that you have to do is kind of just pay attention and make yourself a pretty pattern and just kind of um, space, your, uh, space your pretty colors. Okay. And there you go. And you just start opening. And y'all, that's all there is to it. Can you imagine that? 
how simple and easy this is when Christmas time gets here to be making all of your Christmas bows just incredibly fast and easy. No hurting hands, no ribbon rolling all over the floor. That's what I'm most exciting about, excited about, guys. And you just saw how fast you can actually do it. So it's a time saver. You save your hands, like she said, and I can't wait. Can you make the tails long to drape the whole length of the tree? I, uh, and this is just me, I always put my tails on my tree separately. I just, it just, for me, it just seems easier. Um, you can do it that way if you want to leave your tails attached. But I, I just kind of work with my tails in the tree first. And then I just set my bow in place. But you can do that. And then whenever I pick my tree up, I take all my tails off and then I roll them up in my hand and then I, I put them in the box with um, with my tree topper. I pick that all up together. So how you coming, Dylan? There you go. Going good. There you go. Let's take a second and watch we're fluffing and see who's watching. So we got Nancy, hi Nancy, hi, Nancy. Uh, hi Kathy. Good morning, everyone. Oh, Judy. Hi, Sheila. What does Tim say about vapors? She's got the vapors. Who has the vapors? Susan. Susan has the <laughs> Susan has the vapors because I said it was okay to use a um, use a um. Oh, I can't even think of the name of the thing. I um. Not a, not a fluff tie, a zip uh, tie. A zip tie. Y'all, I had a mar margarita or two last night. My brain isn't working this morning. I can't even remember what the word zip tie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm old, y'all. You please forgive me. But doesn't she look great? Thirty-five. I'm old. She looks thirty-five. Thirty-five. <laughs> no. And there is half. Oh, oh, Ooh, sorry. Oh, <laughs> Jesus, take the wheel and drive fast. I mean, she almost took off my leg. Way to go out with a bang. That's, that's <laughs> okay, look at that. And that's just half. Isn't that beautiful? So let's compare, guys, and make sure mine's not screwed up. <laughs> that's it. There look you go. at that. And y'all, this is his very first time ever. Truly, everything that he has done here that we've shown today is the very first time ever that he has uh, used this. Gwen. He's never done this. This is all very, very first time ever. And look at that. It's perfect. It's perfect. Perfect. I it's hear, exciting. Huh? It's exciting. I, can't I, I, see, I hear all these people uh, online all the time in the groups, and they say, practice, practice, practice. And, you know, that is the one thing I don't understand. Practice. This is his first time. No practice needed. It's perfect. Follow the video. Just follow along with me. Make your bow. No practice needed. And there it is. It's perfect and it's ready to go. Let's see. We had a comment just a minute. Gwen Steed, she says, um, I can see so many uses for this too. I have tied thousands of bows in my career. My poor florist hands. Well, see Gwen, with this product, you will save your hands. That's the reason why it's named the hand. Whenever I developed this, and I, and I do have a few, uh, you know, people that were helping me along the way, they hated the name. And, of course, it was all men, and it was more businessmen and everything trying to, you know, I, I had never done anything at, at this level in business. And they were like, the hand? Oh, lady, are you crazy? That is a <laughs> terrible name. And they kept trying to get me to change the name. And they were coming up with all kind of stuff. And, uh, and I was like, no. I said, no, no, the name of it has to be the hand. If you understand what this, you know, and I said, the ladies, once they see this, they'll understand, they're, they're going to completely understand uh, what this means. Because instead of your hands, this is the hand. That's the fingers of the hand, everything, holding everything for you. And so I stuck with that one. And that's why it's named the hand. Because it is holding all the work for you. Uh, you can be in the middle of making this big old bow, uh, baby cry phone ring, walk away. The hand, the fingers are holding all your work for you. You never have to drop anything and walk away from it ever again. 
is just sitting there waiting for you whenever you're ready to come back and finish your project. This and guys, is look all at this. wired we're, ribbon. Yeah, all wired ribbon. And guys, we're not even all the way done, but look how pretty it looks already. I mean, we still have just the back side of mine here to do, but you know, like Regina says, it's really in the detail about how you fluff. And just like with your Christmas tree, and I use this as an example because people put up their tree, guys, and they don't touch each and every branch and fluff it. And you have to have a great foundation. Same thing with the bow, guys. So when you get your bow, make sure you spend that extra time and you fluff it up because that is really what's gonna make it stand out and make it look pretty. Don't put your tree up and not fluff it either because that is god awful. Let's hope. <laughs> I mean, oh, I've seen that done. This is not Walmart, you know. So to make sure you spend time and really uh, touch each and every loop on your bow as well. And that's the great thing about the wired ribbon is you can yep. bend it. And then once, you know, once you, you just, and you can see I'm taking a little time. Y'all, you, you've already, you can see this. I've, I'm taking more time to fluff the bow to uh, than I actually made it. I mean, I just zipped that out. And, um, but to really the secret in, in, in having beautiful bows is, is just take those moments just to fluff it, have it anchored, anchor your bow down. Before I came up with the fluff box, I had an arm to a dining room chair that I was wrapping the wire around and I was just destroying my chair and I uh, didn't want to do that. So, um, came up with the fluff box and it is just a lifesaver. And like I said, I've seen a few people put, put an eye hook in their, in their Probo. And, uh, I, I don't personally, I don't like that at all because I'm going to sit here. You see how I'm going to swing this around whenever I'm done. Cause I'm going to, like I said, I'm the world's worst in foo foo. And there, there I go, Jace. I think that's the word he wanted me to say because I foo foo and look, you see, I can do it from the side. I'm going to swing this around. I'm going to look at my bow over here on this side and make sure that uh, I've got my... But you see how I can pull? Look, I'm using two hands. I have not touched this with one hand at all. And that's the key to it, y'all. We'll anchor that bow down to, to your fluff box. And you see how I can just spin it? I can just look at my bow from every direction and just get it perfect. And it will be just absolutely perfect. I will not, and y'all look, I'm, I'm an old lady. I've been doing this for years. I will not um, make a bow at my house. I don't have my fluff box if for some reason I've left it at the warehouse. Well, I'm getting in my car and I'm going to my warehouse and get my fluff box. And, uh, cause I just won't do it. It's just too much, it's just too, it just makes that much difference and it's why fight with it. Uh, Bow making is, is there's there's a, an art to it. Um, if you were gonna do it by hand, that's, everybody can do it now. Everybody can do it, it's just that easy. And uh, just using the fluff box and the pro bow. And everybody can do it and, and just make a bow like a professional. Like this is, this is Dylan's first time and look, look his bow is perfect. His bow is perfect. And you would just set this on top and of your tree? That's it. And this is his very first one. Look, it, I've been doing this, I've been doing this uh, forever, mm -hmm. forever since dinosaurs, since dinosaurs were roaming. <laughs> I've been doing this. Land before time, right? Yes, that's it. <laughs> mm -hmm. And look at this. That is his very first one and I've done a gazillion. So it, it's easy, y'all. Everybody can do it. And, and all this practice stuff, you don't have to practice. Look, at that's his first one. Follow the video. He yeah. is wonderful. So, so he is just wonderful. And it's just that easy. And so see, Morgan, if you're watching, my sister, you can do this too. And girl, when you get the tutorial, you're going to do it. Tim is asking, does the Pro Bow fluff box and ribbon holder come in a set? You can just order all three. Just, just go, you can go, um, well, you can, if you, if y'all live close, if y'all live close here, please come on in and visit Ellis because you're going to find all kind of wonderful things. And don't forget those work forms. They have them here, y'all. There's a shortage, but they, they have them here. Y'all just come in and visit. Y'all are not going to believe the, co the, the price on the ribbon and on the picks is just absolutely wonderful. So if y'all, if y'all live in this area, y'all can just, uh, please come by. You can get your pro boat today. You can get started. Uh, you can order the fluff box, an extra spool holder, those sorts of things off of my uh, website. And my husband is over there packing as we speak. So you'll get that quickly. Two, two or three days it'll be, if y'all are from uh, Texas, um, that'll just get to you. You can either make yourself a fluff box or order one from me. Doesn't and you will be ready. 
Does it make a difference where you start to fluff, top or bottom? Uh, actually, it does not. The only thing is, uh, like I said yesterday, on the um, um, terry bow, I always start from the bottom because I want to start getting those X's and just build up to the top. A terry bow is just kind of comes up from the top and you want that flow, like I said yesterday, it's almost like a waterfall. You want those those tails and your loops. The, uh, the terry bow is the only one that I always start from the bottom. Any other bow makes no difference. What is the best way to store this for next year? All of, my, all of my bows, I have used, and, I, and I, I'll have to post this again. I have some bows that I have used on my staircase, and, and people are just astonished. I've used them for 12 years, and they're huge. They're huge bows like this, and but I went to, uh, uh, I ordered them on Uline or anywhere you can get boxes. And what I do, I carefully take my bow, and I make two little holes in the bottom of the box, and I wire them into the bottom of the box, and then I store every bow in that box so it never gets touched. So nothing ever gets touched, y'all. They'll, they'll last for years, just years and years and years. And so that's how, that's how I store my bows. Now, if you take a box and you throw them all, if you take some kind of big box and you just throw them all in there, whenever you open it, that up next year, you're gonna just have a mess. Because they're gonna, um, and especially if you put them in your attic, you're gonna kind of train that wire and they're gonna be all creased and everything. So what I do is I sit every one of my bows, and my staircase bows are about this big. So I just wire them into the box so nothing moves. And then next Christmas when I take them out, they're ready. They're ready to go. So I take really good care of my bows um, and uh, you can just use them forever. Is there a preference to the size of the ribbon for the tree topper? Absolutely not. Um, you can use, if, if you had a 10 foot tree, you might make this out of four inch ribbon. You might, uh, y'all, it's just, I mean, it's just whatever you can dream up with. I've made bows uh, like for tree toppers. Uh, it just depends on the, on the kind of ribbon that I want to put together. If I've just found some beautiful things in one inch, two inch and four inch I put together. Now, if I'm going to mix those size ribbon, I usually put my four inch around the bottom. And it just kind of just sets everything off. But I, I, I'll put my four inch more to the bottom. What is my mom talking about? Did you see her comment? I haven't. Yeah, I'm, I'm still. I'm. She says don't even I think about it, Dylan. I don't know what she's scrolling. doing. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't know what she's talking about. But this okay. is beautiful. I really am, am excited the way it turned out, and I can't wait for Christmas, guys. And again, here at Ellis on our website, ellisonmagarden.com, you can find this product. It's available at Probo the Hand. I pinned the link down below. We also have work forms, like Regina said, there was, there's a shortage, guys. We've got a few left that are available on there. We've got them in our stores. We've got some mesh here. We've got lots of great products, guys. So make sure you come in, you can check out these sales. You're not gonna beat these prices. Like I always say, here at Ellis, we strive to make sure that everything is affordable to you guys. I'm not here to break the bank. Neither is Ellis. We wanna make sure all of this stuff is accessible to you and it's affordable. So make sure you check us out, guys. And uh, oh, my mom said she's not packing up my bows for me. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry mother I will um, so anyway Regina's gonna show you another uh, kind of bow guys in just a second uh, can this you is... use two ribbons for... excuse me can you use two ribbons for this bow yes you can use two you can use two ribbons you can use one ribbon um, I, I, I do it uh, I have a video uh, of course I do I have a video and, and, and if you want just a solid red a bow for the top of your Christmas tree, go to probothehand.com, look in the gallery of bows. I got all kind of stuff in there. And I do have a, um, just a solid red velvet bow. Looks exactly like this, it's just solid red velvet. Look how beautiful, guys. Yep, Mom, you're watching, that. show this to Morgan, you and Morgan. You know, you guys can make these beautiful bows. And y'all, this is his very first time. I promise, I promise. He has never touched this before. And look at his bow, and that's the very first one he's ever made. It is nice. really that simple. Really that easy. Okay. Cindy, Dylan, pin the website at the... And it should be at the very top, guys. I've pinned two links. EllisHumminGarden.com, and it actually has the Provo link already on there. Um, but make sure you go to the top left corner of the website, Shop by Department. Everything is categorized, guys, by item or by item or description. So make sure you click on it. There's floral on there. There's lots of greenery that we have used and I've, 
I've displayed in the um, arrangements and the reset I do each and every week. So guys, make sure you check that out. And any questions or comments, don't forget, leave those down below. And send us pictures of your work, guys. Send it to us on direct messenger. Slip in those DMs and send your pictures because we love to see We got some beautiful pictures yesterday. Yeah, for sure. Some really pretty things. <laughs> Jackie says, why do I have a feeling Dylan is going to do Christmas bigger this year? I know, I'll be sitting y'all pretty to have both <laughs> hanging all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm excited just to save my hands. I mean, like she was saying, your hands do start cramping, guys, when you do those tree topper bows. And when you work at a, a store where they sell seasonal products, you get orders and orders and orders for bows. And after a while, you're just like, oh my God, how much more can my hands take? And with this product, it's saving your hands. It makes beautiful bows. And honestly, I can't make a hand-tied bow that looks as good as this on this on this bow maker. So make sure you guys check that out. Okay, I'm going to show y'all a little trick. Because it's ready. My bow maker needs this. Okay, you see how I took some packing tape? You can either use packing tape, scotch tape, just whatever you have it at, at, at home. Um, if you're using a lot of glittered ribbon, and that's all I use. Uh, if it doesn't glitter and shine, I don't want it. Okay, that's just me. But you see how now I've gotten some glitter on my on my non-skid pads? That's how you clean it off. Look at that. Do not take a knife or your scissors and try to scrape that off. It'll ruin it. What'll happen is it'll in, it'll kind of embed the glitter in it. What you just want to do is use some tape, tap it off. Okay? See how all that glitter's gone? Now they work again. I've been having this on here for years, okay? Now, I'm gonna show you the easiest way to clean glitter off of a table. Are y'all ready? You do it like this, okay? <laughs> that's how you clean your table. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the easiest way to do it, and just don't worry about that, okay? I like my dogs to kind of shine, so my, my dogs will pick that all up for me, okay? And then it'll be in my bed tonight, <laughs> you know? During the okay. Christmas season, we have glitter everywhere, don't That's we? it. Everywhere. That's it. Head to toe, mm -hmm. all over the husband. In the car, everywhere. The, the husband, the dogs, it's all. But that's... that's Part of it. I love it. I love glitter. Got Christmas cheer all over the place. That's it. Yeah. But guys, I'm going to watch her demonstrate this next bow because I'm interested to see um, <clears throat> this technique. Okay. This is a... Um, in the floral industry, especially, there's a little bow, and it's called... A button bow in the floral industry they call it a button bow it's the it's the, um, um a, a bow that just has that very small little loop in the center okay and uh, that's what they kind of refer to it as the button bow so this will just show y'all okay you can see how that's see how I've changed up the uh, arrangement of the dowels this is how you get all your different uh, type of rip uh, styles of bows look I see where I put my dowel I put my dowel on row B and then I move these look I'm not going to use one because uh, uh, finger one because I'm, I know that I want my um, my other loops a lot bigger I want to really show that that center loop is small and that these are bigger okay so you see how I can just by the different placement of my dowels I'm gonna get a totally different looking bow okay so that so that'll be my bow recipe here and you'll you'll see on my website in, in the bow recipes I'll show that you can put your dowels on different rows on this this dowel is on row B everything else is on row C okay Okay, and look, I can make, I can just whip this little bow out in just seconds. Let me cut this off, scissors, please. Go. I'm going to try not to stab you. back away from this. Stand yeah. back from this. Ooh, I'm Jesus. trying not to stab you. I mean, I've seen Grey's Anatomy, but not enough yeah. to do surgery. <laughs> <laughs> now you know how I feel. Yeah. Okay. I know I'm always shooting stuff at Dina. Pinch, wrap around. Y'all always start that way. Come in with my, uh, one, two, wire up and wire down. I'm going to go around. Look, I'm going to make that little tiny little center loop. Okay, there's my pinch. Get this wire out of the way. Leave a little piece so I can get it. That's the hardest part in bow making right there. We're ready to go. I am going to pinch, twist, swing my finger around. Look, I'm using that. As, okay, look how easy that is. There's my pinch, my twist. I'm using my fingers, my guide, drop it over. Pinch, twist. Y'all, it just can't get any easier than this. You get just a couple of little hand movements down. Now, is that easy? That's easy, Is that guys. simple? 
Is it is that just kind of nothing to it at all? Pinch and twist, drop it over, pinch and twist, get my little piece of wire, pull it over, tie it off. Okay. Well, come on, finish tying it off, Regina. Don't get don't get too spiffy here. Okay. Now I want this I want this bow to have two tails. So what I'm gonna do is just wrap this around. I'm gonna catch a little piece in here in my wire before I take it off. And what I'll go, what I'll do is really show off and I'm going to allow this bow to have three tails. Look at this. I'm just gonna bring all three of these out. I'm gonna just, three tails. That quick guys, that easy. Okay. There's our little bow. And Lori is asking what gauge wire is 26, right? 26 gauge 26. wire. Let me do it this way. Okay. And because I'm having this on my fluff box, I can now form my bow. I'm fluffing and forming because I'm gonna ha have this, this little bow is gonna have a certain look to it. If I was just jank, just jerking on this ribbon and doing it up in the air, I, could, I just couldn't do it quite. See my, let's see my little bitty, see my little bitty loop in the middle, the little button bow. And look, I'm gonna pull this down just, just a little bit. And then this will go up here. See how I'm forming, I'm forming this bow. I want it to have a certain look to it, a certain shape to it. Let's, let's have these come down the little tails. Okay, look at that, that's half. See there? Let's see, and what I wanna do is make these all be in the same position. This one, this one came up just a little. And this one just down, just a tad. And look at our pretty little bow. And honestly, guys, when I tried to do bows with the middle loop in my hand, it does not turn out like that. That's a beautiful bow. And she did that in no time. Really quick. Quick, quick. Quick, quick. And this is a very, very popular bow in the floral industry. They just love this little bow. Um, actually, I had met with um, Jay Swanke, and he's kind of like Mr. Floris in the United States. And he looked at her at, at, at uh, Probo, and that was the only thing that he didn't like it. So guess what? Our next container that we got in, we changed it. We, we changed, we did this about three, uh, because this is called a new improved model. And that's because we, cha we changed uh, the board to, and, and for the, um, um, for the floral industry and the gift basket industry. The gift basket industry really loved this type of little bow. They wanted this little loop, and so we, we actually changed the board. When I go to Dallas, I have meetings with all these people and everything, and so we changed the board just so we could make this, uh, make this little bow like this. So, I mean, how easy was that? And they just come out perfect. You can just whip out a gazillion of them and nothing, nothing flat. No time, guys, at okay. all. Love that. So see guys on the on the last for the last three days, Regina's been here and we have showed you lots of different examples of bows that you can create on your Pro Bow the Hand. So again, make sure you check it out on ellishummingarden.com. Purchase yours and get started today because guys, you never know when you're gonna need a bow. And with this bow maker, guys, it's easy. Anyone can do it. Like she said, I told her from the day she got here, I don't want to do this until we can do it on the live video so that you guys see that when you come when you get your box in the mail and you open it up, that you can do this just like I can. So it's really simple. It makes beautiful stuff. And again, just for uh, for us to wrap everything up, we can show you some examples. Here's one of the other bows we've made, and a couple more over here that she's done. This one's for a mailbox. She said, "This is a mailbox bow, y'all. There's 60 yards of ribbon in there, and I made this in about 15 minutes. This is if you want to have a party, and and you just add a lot of balloons with it. This one is this big because you can see as I'm holding it how how some of them just kind of droop over the side." And you want this, whenever you sit this on your mailbox, you want some of your loops to kind of droop if you're wondering why I made it so big. And there's 60 yards of ribbon in here and uh, just made it in just moments. You do two spool holders and you just pull, instead of pulling three, y'all seen us pulling three ribbon at a time. Instead, you just pull six at a time and you'll just get about this big. So 60 yards, this is 30 yards, guys, for the tree topper. Yep. 
And Do then you she... know how much ribbon you use for the button bow? Oh, that's probably about two and a half yards, I'd say. That's probably about that. Oh, this, let's see. We made these bows. This is a Terry bow right here on, a Mar Ooh, on Margarita's hat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's happy now. Yeah, she's happy. Doing yeah. the most. Susie, we do have ribbon online. We have ribbon in the store. So this is uh, this is a basic little bow you might put on a package. This is the size of a little bow. This is a three ribbon bow. We we showed this one, at did we? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yep. And first and one we did. Uh, this is the first one we did. Uh, well, I'm getting confused because I made so many of these last night with this ribbon. But anyway, this is a basic little bow, great for a package. And this is the size that I sit in my Christmas trees. Okay, let's see what else do we still have back here. Terry bow. You want to yep. take this or, show? or is it on there? Okay. I pinned it on her hat. Yeah. Well, we can just show you guys. This is the Terry bow right here. We made this yesterday. This is one of my favorites. It shows you the difference of um, width of ribbon that you can use and incorporate. And it makes a beautiful bow. And I love the tails, how they come out. And you make sure you dovetail those because it does make them pretty. And she's got Parkinson's or something. <laughs> Let me pull her head back around. There she goes. <laughs> Dear, the, 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 Website is pinned. Yes, up the top, guys. Uh, EllisHomeandGarden.com. We've got uh, Probos on there. We've got mesh work forms on there. We have mesh. We have ribbon. And guys, we're going to. Uh, we're kind of starting to transition, guys. So we're going to uh, upload as many items as we can. We got patriotic stuff on there, and everything. So make sure you check it out. Anything you want to see, any requests, guys, leave those down below. And we will definitely uh, answer back because uh, Regina and I go back and we try and read all the comments so that we, we can make sure we answer all of your questions. Y'all, if y'all have any questions at all, uh, please don't hesitate to call me. And I'll give you my cell phone now uh, since my husband has posted it on Amazon <laughs> anyway. <laughs> my cell phone is 985-209-0866. And I love talking on the phone. So y'all have any questions, don't hesitate to call. And, and, and I just have, you know, please don't call me at 2 o'clock in the morning. I have had a few... <laughs> <laughs> calls at two o'clock in the morning but uh, i do answer questions a little bit better between about nine and ten nine and ten at night okay <laughs> so if y'all have questions please do not hesitate to call okay we have let's see we had a question uh betty's asking when will our autumn ribbon be available uh betty we try and get that stuff in usually at the end of june so really before you know it, after mother's day is really when things start to kind of slow down and we really focus on you know, transitioning and getting everything ready for the next season, which is going to be fall and Christmas. But guys, we'll be back to you next Tuesday with a new video. It's going to be something that's Memorial Day, Patriotic Flag Day. Um, again, all of those holidays are coming up soon um, here in the month of May and July. So we want to make sure we come to you ahead of time so that we give you um, an option to come in here and decorate anything you want to do. And we'll be doing a patriotic bow soon on the bow maker. With that, we have to watch, see how I do. That's without it. her standing here guiding me. So <laughs> I, I think it's going to be good, though. She's been great. And I want to thank you on the video. And I'll thank you also later. But thank you so much thank for coming. Darling. I've thank had you. such a good time. Y'all, I am going to be, I'm going to be so depressed. Y'all, I've had a blast here. I've just had the best time. Have wonderful customers come in. Uh, we had a lady came from where, um, who was that lady from? Monroe. Monroe, I uh, drove three uh, drove three hours uh, to, to to come and 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 uh, visit with us last last My name night. Hey, Roz. So hey, Roz. Yeah, hi, Ro mm -hmm. hi, Roz. And uh, I signed her bow maker for. Her. Hope you made it home and I hope you diluted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. We're not going to talk about that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but anyway, uh, Dylan and I have shared our phone numbers, and I'll be making up some stuff and sharing with Dylan, and Dylan will be doing lives with y'all. And we're just going to continue to have a great time. I have had a w absolutely wonderful time here. Maybe I'll come back in the fall if y'all do oh, a show. Oh, I would love that. Yep, and we'll we'll do some Christmas stuff and, and just have another great time. Hope y'all uh, continue watching. Y'all have just got to see this young man. He <laughs> is the sweetest thing online. There's, well, there's just you. no one there's just no one better, no one sweeter than Dylan. And make sure y'all check out her Facebook page as well, Probo the Hand, because she does lives on there as well. Yep. And uh, you know, she will just, you know, reiterate what we talked about today, show you new techniques, show you ways on how you can create bows, guys. So make sure you check her out as well because hers are great as well. I, I've got to catch a few of them and we interacted Thanks. the whole time. Yep. I've had a couple people ask which bow would be appropriate for a funeral. Uh, for a funeral? A black one. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> well, that's um, 
for it just depends on what you want to do with it if you're going to put it on on a, a floral piece probably this one probably probably about this size okay if you're going to put it like on a cross or a floral or a floral piece probably about this size okay and like he said maybe well not necessarily black sometimes you know the color depends on your flowers and your things a lot of purple is used for um for um this size Generals. bow would be great like on a wrap plant, guys. If you're not familiar, here at Ellis, we wrap uh, peace lilies a lot of the time, and we put the foil around the bottom of them, and we put a bow on the front, and this is about the size we do, so this would be great for something like that. You yeah. can incorporate on a live plant or a live flower, and you can use the flower as your color, you know, if that's what you want to do, or yeah. the ribbon, because the plant's green, so, you know, you could use yeah. the colored ribbon. Um, let's see. Ellen, uh, if you'll send us a message on direct messenger, we'll see what we can do to figure out what uh, issues you're having on the website, because we definitely don't want that. A couple of people are saying they can't get an account set up. I thought she changed that. Rebecca told me she changed it where anyone can just check out as a guest. So maybe you guys should try that. But I'll um, I'll go on there and check with Rebecca and see what we can do to make sure that everybody is available to purchase on there. And just also, you don't have to have a tax ID anyway, either. Anyone from the public can shop on our website. Guys, I know we've had that question a lot over the last few days. So I want to make sure I let you guys know that. Mine either. Don't need any of that. Just it's a re it's shop. all retail. It's a, a, both of them are retail sites, so just shop to your heart's content. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, we're about to wrap it up here. Don't forget, this is Regina's last day here, so if you have wanted to plan that trip and you wanted to come see us and interact with Regina, guys, she's going to be here tonight till 6 o'clock, so make right. sure you bring your friends, your family, get your girlfriends together. Even if it's an hour drive, we had Roz come here, and so she's but three hours a, away. Three hours away. Yeah, so y'all come in here. Y'all have a good time today. We're going to have a great day. I see the sun starting to shine outside, so it's going to be a beautiful day. And I hope everyone has a great Mother's Day weekend. Have a happy Mother's Day if we have any mothers watching. Well, I'm, we have a lot of them, I'm guessing. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yes. So everyone have a happy Mother's Day, and we will see you on Tuesday. Bye. All right, bye, guys. Thank y'all. Thank y'all so much.